What does granular do? Well, nice. Well, hello, folks, and welcome back to Killer Hearts. My name's George, and today's the day we finally release our brand new granular generator for Faceplant. We're more than a little bit excited, I can tell you. We're about a thousand tiny little bits excited about granular. When you think about what it's possible to do with a synth, it comes down to the generators first and foremost. How do you make the sound in the first place? And we've got an analog style wave generator, we've got a wave table uh, engine, we've got a sampler, we've got a noise generator, but now we've got a granular engine and it looks like this. For those of you who aren't familiar, what does granular do? Well, granular synthesis is all about manipulating samples in a versatile and interesting way. So obviously you could already in Faceplant load a sample into the sampler here. Let's say a piano. You play back that sound and then you can manipulate it. But granular gives you whole new dimensions. I mean, uh, untold new dimensions of uh, abilities when it comes to manipulating these kinds of samples. What it does is instead of playing back one sample from start to finish or from finish to start or something simple like that, it allows you to play back little snippets of the sound selected at varying degrees of randomness from all the different parts of the sample. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say you'd recorded some nice pentatonic noodling on your purple pan drum here. Sure, you could play it back all the way through linearly, like a noob. And let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with that. It sounds lovely. But what if you wanted to play it back with layers of overlapping sounds? You could turn up the number of grains. Pretty cool, right? Now you're selecting lots of little snippets from various places within the sample, playing them back all at once. You can change, of course, the envelope of those grains. You can make it longer and shorter and change the shape of the envelope. So now let's play a sort of plucked sound in grain. Or a really nice smooth sound in grain. You can change the frequency of those grains in time, how often they occur, either uh, in terms of density, how many grains are playing at once. Or in sync with your tempo. Or even in terms of absolute hertz frequency. So one per second would be one hertz all the way up to 50,000 hertz, potentially. At which point, it really just starts sounding like its own wave, oscillating. And of course, that allows you to control all kinds of varieties of timbres with this uh, by extending the length of the grain versus the number of grains per second. And you can start to see how using the timbral qualities of the original sample, you can generate all kinds of different sounds. We could make this into a bass, probably. And it's still at its heart. Lots of little samples of this pan drum. Pretty cool, right? One of the cool things about this is you can load any sample into it. Anything you can record, you can put in here. So let's take a little cut of my voice. This is me just singing through vowels. Exceptionally beautiful. But now let's play with it. We can do all the things we can with the other generators in Faceplant. We can change the level, of course, the pitch. Play with the phase. And of course, use this generator and other generators to audio rate modulate themselves and each other using the green modulation stuff here. But we also have this row of granular specific tools. And these are all about randomizing. So at the moment, we have three and a half grains playing back. 
Oh. And let's say we wanted to select them from a wider range of the sample, we'd increase the position randomness. Oh. Move the playhead, select where we want them. We can also play them before and after the playhead, like this. We can have some of them play back in reverse, about 50% of them maybe. We can randomise the timing of the playback, so that we're still getting on average 1.3 grains, but we're getting them at a bit of an offset time. You can randomise the pitch. And I suggest that probably you don't want to go beyond about a quarter of a semitone with tonal stuff. Or it sounds a bit chaotic. Randomise the level, of course. So some grains are louder than others. And the pan. Get the stereo action going. And I'm sure you can imagine how you can start to build textures using this tool. And playing with both the grain envelope and the regular envelope in tandem, you can build all kinds of cool pad sounds. But then beyond those kind of standard granular features, we've got a few special features in our engine here. These buttons particularly stand out to me as being cool because if you've got a lot of grains going at once, they start to get a little bit overlappy and messy. So we click on the Align Phases control. And they're now all timed to play back in sync with one another in phase. So it's much easier to get a clean, clear note. And then there's this control, Warm Start, which allows you to start your note with the number of grains selected playing, rather than building up to that number over time. If I leave it off for a second and listen carefully, you'll hear it starts with one voice, then another, then another. And sometimes you want them all to come in at once. For a cleaner attack. This might be a good moment since I've just noticed there's a little bit of silence at the end of this sample, to point out that we've got a new sample editor. At the moment, it's relatively simple and basic. We're going to add a few features to it over time, I think. But you can dive right in, delete a little bit of silence at the end. You could create a little fade on your sample, perform simple functions like normalizing the peaks, removing DC. And now you've got an even more perfect sound to play with. Another thing worth mentioning is that a lot of these samples we recorded with an ultrasonic microphone, so they have frequency content above the normal range of human hearing. That may sound pointless, but it means that once you play them way down the keyboard, you've still got some high frequency content to play with. It doesn't sound so muffled and filtered as it normally would to play back a sample at this slower a rate. Now let's take in another sample here for a moment. This is a single note played on an electric guitar. Not especially interesting on its own. Although there's some fun fuzz in the tail there, of course. But I think it's a great way to demonstrate this last special feature, the chord panel. And what the chord panel does is it takes your grains and distributes their pitch over a range of as many octaves as you like here. Uh, taking in notes from particular chords or scales. So let's say, for example, we wanted a fifth above this note as well as the note itself uh, across a range of one octave. We would do this. And a few more octaves. You can have it sweep up, sweep down, sweep up and down, 
or select randomly. And build fun and interesting textures that way. And it's not, of course, just open fifths. You can also play a minor chord. A major chord. Sus2, sus4. Diminished chords. Seventh chords. And you can have it take in the pentatonic major or minor scales, and they're really good fun sweeping up and down. So as you can imagine, this can be a very good fun way to create ambient textures, unusual sounds happening and evolving over time. And of course, because it's within Faceplant, in the Killer Hearts ecosystem, there's almost no end to the way that you can modulate this thing, add effects, play around with uh, layers of granular generators or of other generators. Like, let's say, for example, you wanted to frequency modulate with a sine wave. Or perhaps we want to use LFOs to control things like the grain envelope parameters. Or the position of the playhead. Or just do a goofy good old effects chain on the thing. fun. And of course it's incredibly important to point out that there's a ton of really great factory samples in here, uh, not only that we've recorded but uh, stuff from Audiction and Aravane and it's completely open to your own samples too. So is there a sound this thing can't make? I'm not sure there is. This as always is a free update for all existing Faceplant users and if you don't already have Faceplant there's never been a better time to grab a hold of it. It just gets bigger and better and more powerful and more fun. So block out the next eight to ten weeks in your calendar for fun and give it a try. Thank you.